Namaste. Namaste. And everybody, please welcome. We're going to dive deep once again into the art of the word and I am. And I have important message here. We speak about tolerance. I heard somebody else making a video about this and this is very important. Enlightenment is state when you tolerate no more negative energy of anyone in your present. That's why Buddha so much in silence. That's why Jesus so much in silence. Only few close friends. Buddha also few close friends. Many masters in India, they live in a hut away from people. Chase, they chase people away because of their energies and like this. <laughs> but they give love to those who respect. Enlightenment is state when you no more tolerate anything what feels negative to you. And I'll tell you something now. How much negative things you tolerate that do not feel right to you. So much negativity you have in your life. And so much negativity you are creating to go on with your life. I will tell you why. People, you cannot control people, you cannot stop people. Really. You cannot make them be different as they choose to be. They will judge you, they will criticize you, they will disapprove you. They will throw their negativity many times, emotionally drive by you in the morning just because they don't feel right. They will expect from you, they will try to control you. They will try to get attached on, on you and many things. And whatever you are sensitive on, whatever doesn't feel right to you, they will do in your energy. Because people are people. And now if you have tolerance for it, this will be your, your reality. What things we have tolerance for and we don't like them, but we tolerate them, we allow them, we create this reality. Just, uh, you know, if you don't like something, what somebody is doing in your energy upon you, it doesn't feel right. You tolerate it. Why we tolerate it? Because of attachments. We feel we are not good enough. Uh, we feel we have to people please. Uh, we are maybe attached. We don't want to lose somebody. And then we are tolerating the shit that doesn't feel right. But really doesn't feel right to us from the heart. You know? But from so many reasons, from attachments, to be accepted, to have friends, to have followers. So people appro approve you, so people say you are a good boy, and like this. We tolerate shit in our life that we don't like. But masters tolerate nothing what doesn't feel right to them. So when you tolerate it, you don't stop it. And because it doesn't feel right to you, you lower your vibration, you give the power away. Energy vampirism. Come on, you yourself, because you didn't stop them. And now, because you are tolerating it, this is your vibration, this is your point of attraction. And now you invite in your creation more of such people, more of such behavior, more of such energies because you haven't expressed yourself that you don't tolerate this, that you have no tolerance for it. And because you have tolerance for it, all these negative things people do to you. You get the picture. Because you are not speaking out. You are attached. You want to be accepted. You want to people please. You want that people are pleased like this, you know. And doesn't matter to you what it feels to you. Or you want to have followers if you're a teacher like me. And if you allow, if you tolerate things you don't like, then what kind of a teacher you are? You cannot teach people how to get their power back if you alone yourself are giving power away to others. Or for money, so that we get money, 
We tolerate things that we don't like. Many women are tolerating men and their behavior they don't like just because of a lot of money. You know? <laughs> Love me now when I like this. When I have money, then fuck this. You know? And they may not love somebody because he's nice and loving and they will tolerate somebody who is full of money. It's because uh, who's the money, who's the boyfriend? Money. Huh? I say if you need me, if you love me, when I have millions, uh, you don't need you now. I'll get a woman when I have millions that that woman will think I'm a bum on the street. She will fall in love with me. She will see me playing a flute on the street in regular clothes and then I will tell her, hey baby, I have millions. You know, I have no tolerance for such shit. <laughs> I went a little off topic, uh, <laughs> but okay, it came through, but it's related. We tolerate things, and that's why we have things and situations in our life that we do not like and that do not feel right to us. Because we have tolerance for it, they don't feel right, but for some reasons which are not right reasons, like attachments, dependency, seeking approval, being accepted, people pleasing, we tolerate it. And then these things are always happening to us. So first thing, when you have no more tolerance for these things, you choose the other reality, you rise. You take your power back. Like, you are no more attached, you are no more dependent on people, you don't need people to approve you, to make you happy, to accept you, you are accepted by your truth in the heart that I am, and it doesn't fucking matter. When people are judging, accusing, downloading their minds, emotionally drive-buying you, and <laughs> causing energies and things upon you that doesn't feel right, you have no tolerance anymore for them, and you tell them, please, you are in my energy, for that kind of behavior I have no tolerance for, I will not tolerate this anymore. I do not come and do such things. In your energy, in your house, you will respect it, I will not tolerate it. And this is not a request for conversation, for a debate, for a discussion. This is a declaration. I have no tolerance for it, and if you want to be in my energy, I will not tolerate this. And they don't be believe you, you remove. You express, I have no tolerance for such and such thing. I'm very sensitive. And I will never do anything like this to you, even if you like it. It's for you, it's for those who like, but don't do this in my energy. And then you stop them, they go away. You get your power back. You are no more giving power away. You are expressing loudly whatever you're sensitive on and the energies that you cannot tolerate. And now you are stepping back in your power, you are rising in your vibe. Vi vibration and because you have no tolerance for it because you express that you have no tolerance for these things that you don't like these things start less and less happening in your reality because whatever of things that we don't like that we tolerate these things are to be part of our reality we create it and when we no more tolerate it we, de we declare loudly I have no tolerance for this please don't do this in my energy and you don't have to know why i'm not explaining myself i'm not debating i'm not discussing i'm just letting you know this is my energy this doesn't feel right i have no tolerance for this and then you match the vibration of being your power of respecting your sensitivity being true to yourself and your sensitive heart and to others if I love what you do in my presence, I bless you. If this doesn't feel right, I tell you, I don't like this because I'm very sensitive. 
And what happens then? People who want to project all these negative energies and this behavior of judgment, accusation, attachments, dependency, control, change, blaming, or whatever, they run away. Those who don't run away, you remove them. Others run away from your life because they cannot anymore deplete you from energy. They cannot anymore consume your energy. And now, because you have told them you cannot be here anymore, you cannot do this in my house anymore, they are not anymore coming. Because they are not allowed to suck your blood. You remove those who cannot stop, and others are no more attracted, because you have clearly stated, I have no tolerance for it, you reason your vibration. Now you are attracting only things that you have tolerance for. You get your power back, you are sincere to people, you are my energy, I have no tolerance for this, but please, I don't ever do something that would violate you, so please respect me, and if it's insane, if you cannot understand it, you don't have to. My sensitivity is unique and authentic, it's not like yours. What you like, maybe drives me completely insane, and I don't like it and I have no tolerance for it. And you have to only understand this. And then you step in your power. And because you have no tolerance for these things, now you are in your power. You don't attract such behavior and such people. And when they come, you have no hesitation to tell them, stop. I'm not doing this to you. I have no tolerance for this. You are in my house. This is what I'm sensitive on and I don't like. I have no tolerance for it. And you have to speak out. I'm a, you have to speak out. Otherwise, all the time things will happen to you that you don't like. You will bitch and lament what's happening, what's there, what's happening. You are tolerating it. You cannot stop it. You cannot end it. You know. Nobody else. You cannot control others. People tolerate relationships that are depleting them of energy and they are suffering in that relationships. Why? Why? They tolerate it because they are attached. They are dependent on each other's energy and because maybe they are long together. Now they are very attached and they... But... They both are acting in ways that they both cannot tolerate. And they know, this is the behavior, they both know, this is the behavior that I don't tolerate on you. And she also knows, this is the behavior I don't tolerate on you. But because I'm dependent on your energy, because I'm attached, because as, as I expect things, because I want to control things, and now I want to change you. And then they tolerate this negative behavior that they don't like on each other because they are attached and now they are fighting. Now they are blaming each other for that. Now they are fighting. Now they are creating more of that negative energy. Why? Because they are attached. And because they are attached, they have tolerance things for things that they do not like on each other. If they would just meet yesterday and they would sleep together one night and they would discover this behavior and energy next morning, they will say, I'm sorry, I don't want that. I don't want that. I have no tolerance for this. They would walk away because they would immediately see this is the behavior what I don't like. But when you are years and years together, people change. Somebody grows faster, somebody grows slower, somebody grows in different direction. Somebody wants this, somebody wants that, you know. And the paths go off-road, paths go right and left many times. They learn together what they had to learn. Soul contract is over. And then they start exhibiting the behavior that they don't like on each other because they learned already ev everything what they had to on soul level from each other and now the universe is telling it's over, no more tolerance for this. And now they are disturbed with so many things on each other 
and they fight, they blame, they want to control each other and change each other. They do not love each other, they actually are attached to the idea of them that they are not. This is ego, and they want them to be just that. And just because of that attachment, they tolerate not getting enough love, not being supported in their purpose, trying to change them, trying to control them, depending on their energy. Not being the man that she wants to have. But because she's attached, she wants him to be that man. And she tolerates the man that he is and she doesn't like anymore. So when we tolerate something, just because we tolerate, we create it to be our reality. And we tolerate because of attachments, because we don't love and respect ourselves too much. Because we depend on energy of others, as we want please people, we want money, we want success, we want, and we are not sincere to others and ourselves, and we tolerate things and energies from others projected in our reality that we do not like. And because we tolerate it, we create this reality. So nobody is doing anything to us. What we tolerate, we do to ourselves, because we always can stand up and say, no, I'm sorry, I'm sensitive. This is not who I am, this is not what I want to be, this is not what I want to have in my energy, please, I have no tolerance from this, don't bring me this energy, this kind of behavior, this control, whatever. Then we can stop. Then the life can change and we can be happy. When you're free of attachments, when you love yourself, when you respect yourself, when you depend on no one, when you are your own truth, you don't depend what people think and accept about you, when you don't give a fuck what they judge, approve, accuse, when you don't care, you love them too much to care what you think, and because you, to care what they think. You love them, and now you don't tolerate anything negative in your space anymore. Enlightenment is the st state when you tolerate no more negativity in your energy. So like Jesus Christ, Buddha, Krishna, he was only with beautiful girls that never uh, did anything to him but make bring joy to his heart as he to him, <laughs> as he to them. Jesus, he had few friends, but the uh, female friends were not mentioned in that uh, ugly book, uh, you know. And Buddha, Buddha, he's hidden somewhere in some tree, nobody knew. He was just one day under the tree, he was so afraid, I'll not get attached to this tree, that he went another day somewhere else, you know. He could not tolerate the fact that he can get attached to the tree, and then he will have problem. Uh, to go away. So he was always hiding from people like this. No tolerance for negativity. Because what I see enlightenment is when you see and perceive all the negative within people and then you see everybody is so fucking negative that you don't know what you do and you have no tolerance for this negativity. You know, because it's everywhere. They are full of fears. They are full of control. They don't love themselves. They uh, project the, this out, you know. They want to control others. They want to be full of opinions. They have doubts. They don't trust anyone. They see darkness and where there's light and like this. And you see all this negative mind. And you have no more tolerance for it. And it's not easy for an enlightened man in this world because you have no tolerance for any negativity and people don't know even what the fuck you're speaking about. And I, I am most extremely sensitive and completely... What pleases people can annoy me. If somebody will tell me I send you healing, I send you love, or try to teach me something, I'll be like this. I'm working 20 years on myself. You don't know what is love. You need healing. You would need to, do, to learn from me. And now you are here, ignorant to your own condition and downloading your mind and trying to teach me, heal me, and whatever the fuck. I have no tolerance for these things, which everybody is doing. And that's not easy. And it's not easy how to respond to people, not to offend them, not to hurt them. But I have to. I have to. 
Because if I have tolerance for these things, I allow it. They will do it tomorrow. They will do it after tomorrow. And the more people will come and they will do it and they will do it just because I tolerate it. And now I will have entire page of teaching me and sending me healings and their opinions and everybody and nobody that actually listens to an enlightened man that actually is free of suffering that they suffer in their mind. It's not easy being me because I don't tolerate these things. And just yesterday something happened, I didn't know how to respond because the beautiful soul was so sweet, but I was just like... Then I manage, then I manage in my posts and like this artistically to bring the message out. I don't want to go too far to bring the message home. Because people are also sensitive like I am. And sometimes it's very hard when I have no tolerance for this and I'm looking, how will this person even understand that I have no tolerance for this? But I have to express it. And when I express it, they respect it and stop. If they cannot, I know that they don't respect me. And I step in my power and I'm projecting out the vibration that this is not matching my vibration of my work and this is not what you should do on my page. And then these things happen less and less and less and less because I take my power back. I actually tell you it's okay it's okay but maybe you would need to learn from me a little bit maybe you have attachments that I'm free of maybe you have still karma and I don't I really didn't ask for this teaching I love everybody why you think that I don't love why do you think so much then I try to like this very gently tell them that I have no tolerance for this. And what they think has nothing to do with me. I gently tell them what you try to tell me now and teach me is actually what I'm living. And I made like 20 videos about them, wrote like 50 pages about them. And really, maybe if you would go research, you will find something that you don't know about that sub subject. That's why I have no tolerance for this. It's not easy. It's easier when people judge me and accuse me and really project that negative, then I can stop them. I have no tolerance for this. But when somebody's sweet, he's just uh, projecting their mind out too much. I only see that they are actually, instead of feeling underneath their mind, they are actually wasting the time and their mind is just trying to figure out everything and it's just running. And I feel if you would really feel and don't try to tell me how it is, then you will get the message in the silence of the mind. It's not easy being me because this world is the world of the mind and I have no tolerance for human mind. I am allergic to human mind and when human mind projects something, this I feels like whew, razors. No tolerance for it. But the entire world is living in a mind, so how to tell them? Everybody is behaving in this way. But I found but I find the way always. Because I have learned something. If something doesn't feel right, it's not right. Whatever doesn't feel right in your energy, you should not tolerate. And when I, then I, when I don't tolerate, I have to express it gently, if it's possible. But I have very bad temper and very sensitive, so I have no tolerance for things that people don't even notice. So how to explain this? But I do it anyway. Because if I allow people to do things that, I, that doesn't feel right in my energy, I tolerate it, then this will happen more and more and more and more, and I'm giving my power away. But like I said, I'm different, you are different, what maybe pleases you so much, I maybe have no tolerance for it and feels completely off. And many things, like people writing essays under my uh, posts, 
teachings and I see them and sometimes I see that they are just loud and they should listen in silence and they are just projecting out and if they would listen in the silence and feel the activation of the world that I am would get revealed in their heart. I feel these things and I feel mind, mind is wasting time, mind is projecting, I have no tolerance for this and it's really difficult to express that you have no tolerance for this, it doesn't feel right without hurting somebody. But I have to do it. Somehow. And it's good for them. Because then they... Because as a mind, there's no chance for them, beloved hearts. Mind is just mind. I have no tolerance for it. That's why actually every spiritual master had no tolerance for mind. That's why there are so many poems about spiritual master being the one that smashes the mind with a hammer of love so you can get free from the heart. In everything what we have no tolerance for, what doesn't feel right, comes from the mind. Control, attachment, blame, change, judgment, accusation. Teaching somebody who didn't ask you for teaching. Helping somebody who doesn't need help. Approving, disapproving somebody. Trying to change somebody. All this shit comes from the mind. Mind. The heart. I love. But the mind, no tolerance for it. So like this, what I try to tell you and express you in this video now is that whatever you have tolerance for because of your attachments, you're not loving yourself, not being in your power, depending on others, want to people please, want people to accept you, and whatever you tolerate because of things, that you not hurt people or something, you create it to be your reality because you have never expressed your will that you actually have no tolerance for it. Huh? And when you step in your power and you actually know that you didn't do anything, I didn't do anything wrong. I am sensitive to these things that people think are normal. I didn't do anything wrong. I do anything wrong only if I allow them. And I tolerate what I don't feel right. And to express what doesn't feel right, that you have no tolerance for, it means that you, that you respect yourself, that you love yourself. That you are in your power. You know you don't owe nothing from no one. You are a gift. And you, I, I really take care not to make any, anyone feel not right. So when I don't feel right, I express that I have no tolerance for it. And when you stop tolerating things that doesn't feel right, you get your power back, you are rising. And people that do things that doesn't feel right are removed. You remove them from your presence and they go away because they cannot do this anymore. They cannot control you anymore. And then beautiful people come to your life, beautiful experiences and beautiful energies that you actually love and resonate with you. Like I say, if I spoke about relationship before, if you have no tolerance for what the fuck is going on now in, in your re relationship, you cannot change anyone. You cannot control anyone. You only see that you want to control and you want to change and how you are tolerating with what you don't like. All what you can do is... Give your power away and decide I will tolerate things that I don't like and then you will be miserable and you will always feel I don't like it. They should change, they should be like I say, you should be the change that you want. And if you see that you have no tolerance for it, you have to know, understand you have no control also to change anybody, to expect something from anyone, but to, you unconditionally love them. Unconditionally love means I love you for who you are as you are. I accept you and allow you to be who you are. But I have no tolerance for these things. So I walk away and I allow you to walk away. And we walk away in love. Because I don't want to change you. I don't want to control you. But I have no tolerance that this relationship is offering. 
for what this relationship is now manifesting things. But I don't want to control you. I don't want to change you. I love you. I walk away. So whatever you have tolerance for, you create it to be your reality. And whatever doesn't feel right, I have no tolerance for it. But if you are loving, if you are giving love, if you are not teaching me, if you are not telling me things that I could teach you, if you are not approving me, changing me, blaming me, depending on me, attached on me, if you love the world that I am, if you accept me as I am, I love you always and you are always welcome in my field. If you cannot be like this, if you do these things that I mentioned now, I love you still unconditionally as God loves you, but I don't allow you in my energy. I have no tolerance for these things in my energy. So like this, whatever you tolerate, it, you, it's to be your reality. I give you my word. So, thank you for watching this really prolonged video with me. I have to tell you, I have a tolerance for this guy. You know, he's a very nice, he's a very nice guy. I have tolerance, he always, but he's not coming much. So I have more tolerance because when people pushing at me, I have no tolerance for it. So like this, he's a very beautiful guy. You know? So he, I don't know, I said something maybe. <laughs> So like this, have tolerance only for people who feel nice. He always feel nice, he's the best. Like he only he also looking like the best, you see. <laughs> so tolerate such people and such behavior and such love in your life. Don't tolerate things that do not feel right. And if you tolerate the word that I am, that's okay. But if you love the word that I am and you feel some support in the word that I am and you feel in your heart that you want to give some support, you can always offer a donation. I put my link down and I'm so grateful for you and I appreciate every single coin from the heart because where I was before and where I'm heading, you are helping me to rise. Without you, I would not be able to give one word that I am, so I'm so grateful. I'm a simple man. My heart is all abundant. And every single coin is worth gold. And may all the gold from my heart be yours. Whoever in your heart feels, I want to share. I accept only gifts given out of love. For what I'm giving only is love that I want to give. And nobody can push me or control me to do something that I don't like. I have no tolerance for these things. That's why they are not in my reality. Nobody controls me. Nobody pushes me. If I don't like something, I tell you one time. This is what I don't like. If you tell me two times, you'll get it. Because I have no tolerance for it. I already told you. No. No is the final answer that demands no discussion. You know that? <laughs> so like this. But if you want to share a coin with me, you are always welcome. And I'll never forget you. And all my gold from the heart be yours. If there's any truth in my heart goes to you in giving we receive and I add white light source healing on every beautiful heart that ever offered me a donation I give you my word I cannot heal you I cannot do anything I purified your en energies I balance your energies I fill you up with white light this is what I can do but if you implement the changes if you work on yourself, if you have faith, you have sa you can save yourself, you can heal yourself. And the energy that I'm sending, the healing that I'm doing can really work. So thank you for being part of my journey. And remember, whatever you have tolerance for, you create it to be your reality. So what doesn't feel right, have no tolerance for it. And express no is the final answer. I have no tolerance for it. And then you remove it from your reality. But as long as you tolerate it, you lower your vibration and you allow it to be your reality. So namaste and thank you and much love. Have tolerance only for what feels right. Fuck your attachments.
Fuck your control. Fuck your dependency. Fuck your guilt. Fuck you not being good enough. <laughs> Fuck you not loving yourself. Fuck you want people pleasing. But love yourself and know that you don't need no one approval but yourself and your heart and what doesn't doesn't feel right, don't tolerate it. Express that you don't tolerate it. And sooner than later, only things and people and behavior in your life is to be that you love. And whatever you cannot tolerate will go away because you don't tolerate it. And you don't tolerate it not only in within you, but in your action and in your loud word expressed. I do not tolerate this. Any negative comment down there or, any, or anything I mentioned, I have no tolerance for it. Thank you. Be blessed. Only roaring so you can roar. But I'm teaching this because I have no tolerance for anything what is negative. Namaste. Much love.